Hello, fellow followers. This, this is Bob. Bob is going to be trying to steal the limelight from the show, but you must not let him. Do not look at Bob. Okay, here's the thing. I kind of made myself a promise. You can call it a New Year's resolution if you like, but I I'm not. I made myself a promise that I would make and share at least one video a week in 2014, and so far... I've done that. Now, if you've been following, you'll know that my next video is supposed to be on Exodus, but I don't have time to do that this week, so I'm making a quick and easy video. Now, you know when you search on Google, it guesses the rest of the question. Well, I'm going to answer the top questions on Google that begin with, does God, why does God, and how does God? That's this video, the Google questions. So, number one, does God exist? Yeah. Number two, does God love me? Yes, and I do mean yes. I mean, I don't care who you are or where you've been or what you've done in your life. Yes, the answer is yes. God loves you. Yes. Number three, does God answer prayers? Yes, but let's face it, that's a tricky one. All of us will have heard prayers go unanswered. But I do believe that God is active in this world and that our prayers make a difference. But there are other forces in this world as well. Now, I've written about prayer before. You can find the links down there. I also find a sermon by Greg Boyd particularly helpful. Link down there. And if you want a really good, easy to read book on it, then I recommend Too Busy Not to Pray by Bill Hybels. Really good book. Question four. Does God hate gays? No, no. See the answer to question two. Okay, next we have the why does God questions. Question five. Why does God hate me? He doesn't. Have you been listening? Question six. Why does God allow suffering? I don't know. The Bible gives hints and partial answers, but I don't know. I mean, let's face it, it feels crass and insensitive even to try and answer. You can give partial answers saying free will and evil spiritual forces, but that doesn't really help, does it? But what I do know, what I can say, is that God cares. Alone among the religions, Christianity can say that God actually knows what it's like to suffer. Blessed are the poor, blessed are the thirsty, blessed are the hungry, blessed are those who mourn, blessed are those who are persecuted, says our Lord. And yet so often we don't realise that he himself knew what it was to be in all of these states. Jesus knew what it was to be poor. He knew what it was to be hungry and thirsty. He knew what it was to cry at the grave of a friend. And he knew what it was to suffer the most worst persecution. So whatever we say about God and suffering, we can say this. God didn't let himself off the hook. God understands because he has lived our lives and suffered our death. I've written a little bit about suffering before. You can find the links down there. And if you want, you can go read books about free will and things like that. But personally, I think the best books are by Philip Yancey. Um, read anything of his. Where is God when it hurts? Um, what good is God? Go and read those books. They're brilliant. Question seven. Why does God exist? Because without him, nothing exists. Question eight. Why does God allow natural disasters? I don't know. Go and watch the answer to question six. Okay, now for the how does God questions. Question nine. How does God speak to us? Lots of ways. Scripture would be my biggest answer and also prayer. Often as you pray, new ways of doing things open up in front of you. And I'd pay attention to that. Also through other people and through circumstances, God will speak in as many and varied ways as there are possible ways to communicate. The only real question is whether or not we're listening. Question 10. How does God guide us? Are you sure you're listening? I'm sure I just answered that. Question 11. How does God intervene in the world? I reject the premise of the question. God isn't far away as though he kind of pops in and does stuff now and again. God is here now among us. He is surrounding you even as you watch this video, as you take that breath. He maintains and sustains this world. God is over all and through all and in all, as Paul puts it in Ephesians 4, 6. God doesn't just pop in, interfere a bit and then run away. He is here now if you just open your eyes to see it. Question 12. How does God answer prayers? Right, that's it. I've already done this. You're just not listening, are you? <laughs> Sure, there'll be other times when I just don't have time to make a proper video, so please help me out and write some questions down there. Give me some questions, and then I can take them, and next time I can answer those questions. Please help me out. Questions down there. God bless, fellow followers.